Hello everybody, Joe Bagdones here, and welcome back for another episode of Fuvlove, uh, Fuvlove? Love Photon Melodies Resurrection, there we go. I can never, I can never do it, just can't. Uh, get ready to deal with tired me today. Just woke up, middle of the day, worked last night, I usually don't record at, uh, on work nights, but hey, woke up early, but I have no coffee, so I'm making tea. It's been a while since I made any tea. I'm doing a uh, Japanese green tea, a premium first flush Yame Gyokuro. Uh, still, still working on how long to let it seep for. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's just get in there. Do you remember what happened last time? I kind of do. Ah, yes, it's a real pain, even with my cyber enhancements. God, this would be so much simpler if that damn tape had just self-destructed. Yeah, normally, like tape the magnetic reader like they'll put like a little strip at the end so it'll just start burning once it hits it but considering this is all fucking last minute last minute just just fucking with them uh they, they didn't really go that far i was stupid to buy that asshole's excuse for even a second i should have given him a piece of my mind later well, there weren't four, but okay. Of course, flames that spring forth new life in this sanctuary they rest, free from mistri free the mistress from her sorrows, and with my presence you shall be blessed. That's all I got. Look. My thoughts exactly, but that's all that was on the tape. Let's see. The first verse says, Flames that spring forth new life in this sanctuary they rest. I'd argue it's talking about the base's nuclear reactor. The flames part is talking about the sun, and the sanctuary where the power rests has to be the nuclear reactor. Next, free the mistress from her sorrow, and with my presence you shall be blessed. I'm pretty sure this is a coded instruction to free the mistress from Yokohama base, Dr. Kozuki, of her responsibilities. They want me to assassinate her. Put the two together, and the message is obvious. Blow up the base's nuclear reactor and kill the doctor in the process. That's the way to get the first item. No, I don't think that's quite it, Chief. What do you think? I'm sure I've cracked it. Just give the word and I'll go take care of the reactor at once. Uh, maybe? いくらなんでも原子炉を破壊して光月福祉令を殺害しろという命令はないでしょう。その瞬間四つの鍵は必要ないし、それどころか全ては終わるわ。あ、you're it was a somewhat extreme course of action, which is why I thought I'd ask you for a second opinion. Uh, so if that's what you think, Misai. Uh, more like very. Sorry, I'm, I'm pouring out my tea from my very nice uh, ceramic tea set. This is like the third the third pot I've made, so, and I didn't clean out the tea leaves before, so it's, uh, it's like clogging up the filter, so it's taking a while. Well, our most basic instincts are to eat, sleep, and procreate. Procreation. I think procreation, which eventually brings about new life, sparks the flame that could spring forth new life, you might say, is the correct answer. Or is there something I'm missing? No, I think they're just talking about the dining hall. Like, go go to the stove. Oh god, oh god, it's clogged. My filter's clogged with tea leaves. Oh god, give me a sec. Uh, uh it's, it's not draining. It's not draining. Because I got, like, the, the little... The little pot you steep the tea in, and then you pour it out into like a, a second one where you filter it, so that way none of the leaves get into your drink. But there's so many fucking leaves in this filter. Ah, ah, hot! I should know that. It's boiling water. Ah, oh, God. 
Why is my life so hard, guys? Nothing, nothing goes right. Yeah, but how how will that how will that get us our item, our our key? So the most likely interpretation is that the sanctuary where the flames of life rest means the room of a female staff member with, uh, well, let's call it sexual issues. Marimo? She'll be free from her sorrow once we solve her problems. Though, I suppose sorrow could also be some kind of metaphor. For example, you gotta consider that Yokohama base was built on ground zero of the G-bomb detonation because the UN wanted to observe the long-term effects of exposure to G-elements on the human body, so having... Stop! Yeah, you're just gonna have to give him the answer. Really? Yeah. We got we gotta go help make lunch. Oh, so the flames of life would be the flames used to cook meals. But I don't see how you could arrive at that solution from the riddle alone. I actually thought of that the first time I heard it, uh I guess fuck, when did I record? Yesterday? I've completely lost track of the days. But yeah, I don't think I said it out loud though. Because I didn't want to sound like a fucking idiot when it turned out to be something else. Very well. well. Let's go to that PX you mentioned. What's with this place? It looks rather different from the rest of the base. Training academy inside the base? Oh, that's unusual. Is it though? I mean, yes, we are both extremely suspicious, but... <laughs> even though it is extremely suspicious. Uh, so even the training academy is full of guards. Security sure is tight around here. Oh, you're right. And here we are at the here we are at last. Yokohama bases PX with the fucking ghetto blaster TV strapped down to the cart in the corner. Just like any old school. Can't say there's anything special about it. I must have seen places like this a million times before. Rather sticky in here, though. You, you mean like humid, humidity-wise, or is like the floor sticky? Because that's gross. Our Japanese summers are horrifically humid, but we're indoors. Shouldn't there be air conditioning? The corridor is perfectly fine. Oh, that would be uh, the fucking woes, the sorrow, or fucking whatever. Great. So, where's this mistress? Hey. Did they did they redraw you? I don't. I think they did. Yeah. Oh man, hard to tell. It's been a while since I've seen you. Also, uh, fuck the anime. He gave her zero screen time. She showed up in the background of, like, one shot. So, yeah, I guess, guess she's not going to be in the anime. Eat your carrots. As long as they're boiled, that's fine. I actually have a bit of sensitivity to raw carrots. Like, if I eat a bunch, my gums will start burning a bit, and I'll get kind of like a stomach ache. But as long as they're boiled, I can eat them, no problem. Boiled, steamed, baked. I actually do like raw carrots, though. 
暑いですあれが今日塚臨時総長よ Seems like she's the one in charge around these parts. That mistress title fits her to a T. And do I spot Yashiro over there too? Well, sounds like she's a pretty big deal around here. Since we're on the topic, do you mind telling me why you're so sure she's related to the riddle? Hell yeah, beat the crowds. Just so good, even Miss Sai gave it high praise. Color me intrigued. And I can't deny I would welcome a bite either. Okay, let's have lunch. Besides, there's no way I would ever decline an invitation from Sai. Uh, let me give you a hand. As you wish. What can I say? It's your run of the mill PX. A little less busy than you might expect, but I guess it's still early. I really can't see anything that might be the cause of Sergeant Major uh, Kyozuka's sorrow. Uh, besides the air conditioning being out and having to work in the kitchen? Sadly, I think Misai was mistaken. Something about, like, the size of her sprite on that chair seems out of proportion. Like, that's a really big fucking chair. No, nothing worth mentioning. I'm having serious doubts about the item being here. So, like, when's the last time you sat in a cafeteria chair and it went up to your fucking shoulder blades? Like, the top. That's like really tall fucking backing for that chair. If you say so. Hmm? What's this? Seems like miso broiled mackerel is a type of fish stew, huh? Yes? Do, do you not know what a mackerel is? I'm sorry, Misai. I appreciate the hospitality. But if we're talking fish, dish, fish dishes, it's an undeniable fact that nothing can top Mama's uh, aqua pizza. Sure. I mean, what the hell is this dirt colored gravy anyway? Hardly looks appetizing. Quite the opposite, actually. I heard the Japanese synthetic food is delicious, and those claims don't seem all that credible right now. That's a given. She has a point. Oh well. I'll just think of this as fuel and get it over with as quickly as I can. What's this? My god, this is amazing! The sweetness of the melting miso blends with the fish, creating a perfect harmony. And the ginger, truly a stroke of genius! Completely, ne completely negates the pungent fishy aroma and enhances the flavor all at the same time. As if that wasn't enough, miso has a tendency to be too mild, but the added ginger gives it a bit of a kick. I'm not kidding when I say I could eat this every day. Bravo! Bravo, I say! This dish is sheer perfection! Simply incredible. Might be my first time eating miso broiled mackerel, but I can already tell the cook deserves all the praise she gets. So, so Indeed! I must express my undying gratitude to Madame Kyozuka. Uh, sorry about that. I couldn't help myself. This is amazing. The way the mackerel melts in my mouth. I'm in heaven. What an embarrassing display of narrow mindedness. I think my prejudice almost stopped me from savoring this divine dish. You sigh. This really is delicious. You definitely weren't lying. So, so yes, truly delicious. Ugh. My spy senses are tingling! Huh? Uh, if memory serves me right, these two are also with A01. Mitsuki, it's so? I was about to say, it's a good thing you're wearing your uh, your new special uniform for the short skirt, you know, a little, a little more, uh, 
you know, good for the heat. But then I realized, wait, they're also wearing, like, three layers on top. They got their undershirt, the vest, and, like, the fucking jacket. So I don't know if it'd be worth that, uh, that switcheroo. Hmm? I can't do humidity. I, I just melt. I start dripping. Like, if it's, like, 75 and humid, I can't. I can't do it. Oh. Oh. Gonna... We gonna get some CGs? Hmm? Something bothering you? Yeah, they don't have to keep the act. Uh-huh. <laughs> of course. Uh-huh. Don't don't see how this uh this influences the mission? Unless you're literally just playing the fucking distraction while they get things prepped in the back. Yeah, make it more erotic. Uh -huh. Also, the Japanese are crazy for having, like, condensed milk-flavored, like, desserts. Like, I get, like, putting it in desserts, but having it be the primary flavor? N n no thanks. Or, or like, vanilla for a popsicle. No. Popsicles are supposed to be fruit flavored. Uh-huh. We, we, we get the picture. What the hell are they doing? Good lord, I've never seen someone eat a popsicle so suggestively. Of course it's gonna spill from your mouth if you don't suck it properly. She really has no manners. No manners at all. Uh-huh. I see, I see that up in the corner there. Oh no, you gotta say it more seductively. I'm sure they haven't realized it themselves, but there's something awfully suggestive about this whole situation. Lieutenant Hayase is dominating the prim and proper Lieutenant Suzumiya, forcing herself into her mouth, violating it relentlessly until her face is covered with nothing but goo and shame. How roughly do they play? Just a bunch of gal pals. Oh, they've gone too far, if you ask me. Any man glancing upon this scene would be hard pressed to believe they're nothing more than friends. And again, maybe this is the usual for an all female unit? Would make sense, I guess. Girls don't mind holding hands and hugging in public. This might not be so weird, all things considered. It's kind of embarrassing to simply watch as Lieutenant Hayase has her way with Lieutenant Suzumiya. But I do realize my view on the matter is irrelevant. If Renzo were here, he would have been unable to tear his eyes away from such a, such a scene. Probably have dragged me along to sneak up for a closer look, too. It said, it said view, but I said look, just ignore that. Knowing this, staring intently isn't quite enough. I also need to approach them if I want to faithfully replicate Renzo's style. Problem is, we're in the middle of the PX. Sneaking up on them here will be a difficult undertaking. <laughs> something bothering you, Misai? Ah, oh, crap. I got so caught up watching them that I totally forgot about her. God, I need to calm down. Seriously, what do I think they're doing? We're in public, for Christ's sake! Uh, a good Christian child like you shouldn't be using the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> Holy Mother of God! <laughs> Nope, you're getting dragged into this too. No escape. Yeah, Oh, 
<laughs> for the mission. All for the mission. <laughs> Come on, man. We got to fill up that CG gallery. Talk about high-pressure sales techniques. Uh, I, I think I think we can we can eat it ourselves. What? Oh, thank you. You're supposed to wait till you're finished with the main course before having dessert. It would be rude of me to refuse. Yep, now you gotta lay on the charms. And they're gone. Yep. Seduce us, Lieutenant Munakata. Try your best. Sai, is that kind of behavior common in your unit? Which means she also acts excessively affectionate with her gal pals in public? <coughs> Doesn't matter. Improvise. Go. First rule of improvisation. Never say no. It's always yes and. Hmm? <coughs> What is it, Lieutenant? Don't tell me you figured out where the key item is supposed to be. You're my partner. Problem of yours is a problem of mine. Is a problem of mine. Ooh, bad stutter. Let's ignore that. Tell me what's bothering you. Don't hold back. What? You want me to feed you the popsicle? Like. Like Lieutenant Hayase was feeding Lieutenant Suzumiya? Well, it might be easier to eat it on your own. It's team building. We're, we're building camaraderie here. Holy macaroni! M Misai! Do you understand what you're asking for? That's one thing one you girls do with the deed, but I'm a guy! She wants it. She wants it badly. Good heavens! I just broke another record. It's been less than a day since I first met Misai, but here she is, begging for it. Oh, you're one smooth operator, my friend. How many conquests would have slipped through my fingers? How pathetic would I be had I not learned from Renzo system from you? The Renzo system. I feel no shame in admitting that you were light years ahead of me. And look at me now. Look how this gorgeous woman is all but throwing herself at me. The chick magnet. You know, because of the implication. You knew how to play the game, my friend. Your spirit has brought me enlightenment. Ah, Misai. The most beautiful woman I've ever met. The sexiest, even. You want me to give it to you? Then your wish is my command. Let us forget all about the mission and immerse ourselves in the base pleasures of the flesh. <laughs> Yeah, no fucking flirting in the mess hall. Cock blocked? Misae-chan, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Fucking set her straight, Sergeant Major. Madame, we were actually... That little flattery will get you everywhere. Oh my god! Her anti-pickup shield level must be over 9,000! This power is unrivaled! Trying, trying to put the moves on this guy, huh? Oh god. Too late, you already made it weird. That's uh, because I've arrived just yesterday. I'm a lieutenant with the European Union. Name's Orlandi. Silvio Orlandi. I'm here on a temporary assignment to help with the inspection. Lieutenant Munakata kindly agreed to be my guide for the few days I'll be staying here. From what I've heard, her teammates are frequent customers here. I expect to follow in their footsteps. Yeah, he, he's, the, he's the ropey endurance kind of guy. Oh, you Southpaw? Thank you, ma'am. I eat clean and train hard. Uh, uh, but what's way more impressive is that miso boiled mackerel you made, Sergeant Major. I never thought a synthetic meal could achieve such a level of perfection. Japanese food is well regarded worldwide, and now I've experienced the reason why for myself. That was so good, in fact, and I'm starting to wonder if you could be the cause for your nation, uh, your national cuisine's lofty reputation, Sergeant Major. Eh, he's Italian. Yeah. What the hell do they think we Italians are like? Like, like Italians. Whatever. I might need her cooperation down the road. This course of action would be to defuse this issue. I'm sorry if I acted in any way that might be considered improper. Trust me, it will not happen again. My friend, it seems I have forgotten one of your crucial lessons. The man should be the one leading the chase. You saw I might have engaged me physically first, but I failed to take over the reins. Something similar happened at, uh... Philopo's? Sure, Philopo's Bar. You gently turned down a woman after she approached you, claiming it was love at first sight. How thoughtless of me to forget. Yeah, like, make fucking Cosme eat her carrots. Madame, is there something wrong? But the kitchen's working fine here, right? So what's the problem? Yeah. I see. How many more do you need? Oh. Yeah. You, uh, you got somebody, uh, sabotaging the fucking gas lines? Gas supply issues. Smells like sabotage to me. The terrorists are mobilizing, hoping to seed chaos among the staff. Yeah, because you guys caused it. What are you talking about? Help her? 
I'm not sure we can spare the time. Gotta, gotta save the kitchen. Yeah, put your fucking super soldier muscles to use. Yeah, she does have a point. I don't think I'll be of any help when it comes to the cooking, but I should be more than enough. Uh, but I should be more than enough able to pull my weight with physical labor. I'm sure Renzo would grant me Sai's request. He would recognize this as a perfect opportunity to reveal his value to a woman he fancies. Well, it seems you really want to help her, and considering I also owe the Sergeant Major one for that great miso boiled mackerel, I say let's do it. We should get started at once. Oh, good call. It would be a shame to get that cute dress dirty. Yeah, well, six million euro will fucking do that to you. If someone as lovely as you, madame, I would use these arms of mine to move heaven and earth. How understanding you are, Misai. Uh, to think we've barely just met. Yet she's already trying to see things from my point of view. Perhaps I was rash to try to engage physically in front of a third party. An older woman at that. However, I want to believe a special bond is slowly developing between us. Nah, you're just getting gaslit. Now, how can I help you next? I am at your service. The PX is starting to fill up with soldiers and staff who want to eat, uh, want to eat lunch. I can't turn back now. I'm real bad at fucking cutting vegetables. I don't mind doing that, but shouldn't it be the other way around? I'm best suited for handling the pan. <laughs> Is it a walk? Hmm? Right, and I thought of that. I can analyze the target with my left eye, while my internal systems calculate the appropriate width of the cuts and the necessary force. Once the structural analysis is complete, my arm will execute the motion. It will require some input on my part, but I wouldn't say it's overly taxing. Besides, this is a perfect opportunity to show how nimble-fingered I am. Wonderful idea, Misai. A novel application of cyber technology. And here I thought you only had a superficial understanding of my capabilities. <laughs> that pan looks sort of heavy. Are you sure you won't need any help? Uh, what is it this time? Thanks, I guess. That long ass flower's speech was just to say they're here to help? Hell yeah, just fucking eyeball. That's what I do when I cook, and it, it usually turns out okay. Okay, the thermometer is important for at least your meat. Thank you, Kazuma. Okay. 
喜んでてもらえますか邪魔なんでい一旦退却する Well, that was, that was something that happened. Uh, you sure that was a good idea? I mean, you're probably right. Too many cooks and all that.、Uh, she's right. I very much doubt they would have contributed anything a note. Also, we've like yet to see Kashiwagi except like that one time.、Uh, so, where, where's i my Kashiwagi? She expected that one of the base's PX、uh, would be out of order. <laughs> What? Who? Where? Words? She expected that one of the base's PX would be out of order and we'd be called to help Sergeant Major Kyozuka? What incredible foresight! Wait, come to think of it. Voice on that tape was acting exactly like this. I can't rule it out. Procuring a voice changer is trivial for someone who's part of the intelligence community. Although, now that I think about it, her cadence is completely different. It can't be her. So, maybe it's just that all Japanese are gifted with such foresight?、Uh, I, I, I don't think so. And since she's, experienced, she's an experienced practitioner of yoga and Zen. Besides, ability to predict the future must be an entire lead、uh, on an entire level. Must be on another level entirely. There we go. Whew. Man, I'm fucking having a rough time of it today. Hmm? Roger that. Yes! Uh, it's over. Yeah, working in the kitchen fucking sucks. Yeah, well, I guess, I guess we owe you for fucking sabotaging the gas lines ourselves. No, madame. There's no need to thank me. I'm always happy to help. Besides, this sort of counts as today's workout. I ended up dripping with sweat thanks to the broken air conditioner and the heat from the stoves. You too, Miss Sa. I. You need, you need like a water? No, 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 nothing! It's nothing! The slightly oversized apron, the sweaty tank top. It's almost like her naked body is greeting me under that oh so thin layer of fabric! What a provoca provocative outfit! Provocative? Provocative. I almost said provocating, but my heart feels like it's beating out of my chest. I want to unpack that sweet treasure right here and now. But this begs the question. Why, I'm so why am I so incredibly aroused? Applying logic to this situation might help. First, an apron means a woman can is and is willing to cook, a feminine quality men have valued since forever. And second, bare skin reminds one of、uh, the other meal a woman can provide. To sum it up, I got excited because there's some top notch wife material right before my eyes, enticing me with their presence. We truly are creatures of instinct. However, Does that make it okay to give in, my friend? Would you have also indulged in this fantasy? I can't say for sure. I have no way of knowing. And thus, I'm forbidden from unleashing my imagination. For I can only do as you would. So why? Why do I feel such excruciating agony over passing up this opportunity? Looking at your fat tits! <laughs> Even if I can endure the scorching heat, this burning passion will reduce my body to ash. Even if I can find respite from the biting cold, this raging blizzard will forever freeze my soul. In the absence of sanctuary, the only choice is to confront what imperils you head on! <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> Who? She's breathtaking. Valkyrie Mami Yori Valkyries Target Hosok Saksen Kaishi Valkyries Zain to Tsuki Yokai Akane Tsuki So make a Nagori Komo Ayo Valkyrie Eight Yokai Kazama Ukash the Sikin Tairo Sagu Valkyrie Seven Yokai Mi Mina What's all the fuss about? What are they even doing? Oh yeah, oh yeah, Misae chan. Ikura nande mo sore ja kaze o hii chimau yo. Hayaku fuku o nuga nai to. You know, worse than sitting around in fucking sweaty clothes. What? Huh? Did I hear that right? Atashi mo ase daku da yo. Paatto, zenbu nugi tai kibun da ne. Didn't, didn't even know that much. Thank you. Thank you, Sergeant Major. For the love of God, no! Madame, you seem to have dropped something. A key? Oh, yeah, you can. Touching not the auto stimataya. It's a bit old fashioned, but there's no doubt it is a key. Could this be what we've been looking for? Uh, does this belong to you, Madame? Eh? Ah, yeah. Could have a hirotandaya. He knew that Takane. Why don't you let me take care of that? The owner might not have realized they dropped the key in the PX, and I know you're pretty busy as it is. So, guy? Yeah, I'll Alright, I got the first item! Yeah, we're, we're done here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really helping me. Thank you, both of you. So, uh, we get our fucking second dead drop. You know, what, what's our mission, Chief? One item down, three to go. Never thought I'd actually see an antique like this. Uh, virtually all locks are electronic nowadays. To the naked eye, this key appears to be a relic of an ancient, uh, of a time gone by. But a closer inspection tells me otherwise. According to my multi-purpose optical sensor, this is not just a simple key for a pin tumbler lock. It also has an integrated engine immobilizer. What? A dual functionality key that works both physically and electronically. One that I conveniently happened to stumble upon. This whole situation is extremely suspicious. I wish I could trace the owner directly, but Madame Kyozuka had no idea who dropped it. Which means I have no choice but to keep searching. And since I have no clue of the other key item's whereabouts, my next step is all but certain. Yeah, it's under the pillow again. Why the lieutenant all of a sudden? Something's off. I've already gotten used to this asshole's condescending attitude. He speaks as if he could peer right into my soul. Honestly, I wish I would never have to listen to him again. Uh-huh, totally. So, am I telling you the next poem? Uh-huh. Enough with the double atanjuras. Atanjura? Atanjura. Yeah, sure, that word. Let's get down to business. では本題に入ろうか。次の鍵を探し出すための四行詞はこれだ。地の宝物庫にいて我は眠る。以上だ。That's uh that's a single verse. 君の活躍に期待する。頑張ってくれ。I guess library or records room question mark. Wait. That was just one verse! Or at least, that's how I would normally reply. That's quite an important point. A partial hint is basically useless. 
But I'm sure he's seen that coming. I've never been more sure for anything in my entire life. Say I do reply like that. What then? Say something like, Are you questioning orders, Mr. Orlandi? How unprofessional. Then we'll be back at square one, with me trying to make sense of his ramblings. Which means I should try thinking outside the box. Copy that. You predicted my prediction? There's more to this man than meets the eye. The insufferable fool act must be a facade. I'm sure of it. Let me guess. You want me to dispose of the tape manually? Does it though? I swear. Next time I'm gonna give this guy a piece of my mind, and sure as hell won't and he sure as hell won't see that coming. <sighs> Dealing with him does quite a number on your sanity. Whatever. The mission comes first. Maybe that's why Makoto is so fucked up. She had to put up with her dad all the time and her brain's just scrambled eggs. And that's what happened. Hate to admit it, but destroying that thing took a lot more work and energy than I had anticipated. Just, just burn it. I'm pretty sure ferromagnetic tape is like flammable. It'll like, it'll like scrunch up and melt. Just, just burn it. Like, dude in the shower room where there's no smoke detector. No need to worry about me. I'm used to this workload. Besides, some things can only be seen at night. I can't put the investigation on hold even if I wanted to. Uh, no apology necessary. I understand that as regular base staff, you have some responsibilities you can't ignore. Please act like a normal member of your unit. Of course. Treasure, treasure of knowledge, huh? I should be able to figure out what that means before the day is over. Twenty-one hundred, somewhere in Yokohama base. Oh God, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Give me a sec. I, I think it went away. Oh god, it's fucking sitting like right in the back of my nose. Ugh. Okay, it's gone. Hey, Kashiwagi, nice. And Tsukiji, she, she's fine. I'm pretty sure she got fucking melted in the uh, in the coup. Yeah, what? Look, she she tried. That's a stereotype. Sigitakoto あかねはともかく、単位の問題はそれだけじゃありませんよ。何ですか、あの料理の時のメスシリンダーだのピペットだのセミツハカリだのって。いや、they were cooking, not fucking making math. 
not not entirely. <coughs> God, I'm dying. What is what does Yuko Sensei have fucking yaoi hands? Let's just focus on that for a second. Her like hand is like as big as her head. Now now you all can't see it. The fucking bitch can palm a basketball, just just pick up Kazumi by the top of her head with one hand. Mm-hmm. Yep, gotta get all slutty. Fucking Halloween slutty. God, I can't stop looking at her fucking giant hand now. No! で、あんたたちもバックアップしなさいよ。こっちは別にあいつが誰に興奮しようが構わないんだから。とにかく全員でしっかり取り掛かりなさい。uh, which, which hood we talking about here? Hi. It's okay, Cap. I still think you're the best. Oh god. What the fuck is that? Ew, Italian. Oh. oh god, let's let's fucking sound it out. I can I can piece it together in my mind, but trying to say it, I can just feel it die on my tongue. Fucking Buongiorno, Misai. I kind of went French there. No need to worry about me. I'm perfectly fine. In fact, I haven't felt this good in ages. I must have fallen asleep at some point. To be honest with you, I only woke up minutes ago. I wouldn't be so sure. As an undercover agent, this is one lapse that I cannot allow myself. It may sound like I'm trying to justify my actions, but it's possible I've accumulated more fatigue than I thought. All because of A01's nonsensical behavior and that asshole from the tape. Yesterday sure was mentally exhausting. Even so, losing to the sleepiness and passing out is a rookie mistake. I can't make any excuses. Y just, just take meth. I mean, you're fucking aging, you probably have your go-go pills. No, it absolutely is a problem. I let myself be distracted, and now we're behind schedule. I still have no idea what treasury of knowledge refers to. So, you, you could just tell us, because you know. You do? Wonderful. Oh, when you put it like that, glass half full isn't a bad way to look at things, I guess. Hey, nice, I was right, records department. There's nothing remarkable about this library. It's as generic as they come. The only thing that stands out is its size. Considering how many people live in Yokohama, it is certainly on the small side. Not particularly. I mean, I can't deny it's weird. But I'm sure the, this isn't the only library around here. Yeah, 
京都大阪福岡広島名古屋そして横浜帝国もなすすべなくベータに侵略されたからね大切なものも何もかも奪われてしまったそれは Should, shouldn't all this be like somewhere more secure than、uh, what's technically a frontline base? Library doubling as a memorial. Yeah, understandable. Figures. And adding to the collection is easier said than done. Getting new books here would be、uh, prohibitively expensive. After all, cargo space is at a premium. Most ships that come to Japan bring supplies that directly contribute to the war effort, and there's only a limited number of ships that can be chartered. To think a base built on top of a hive, using the most advanced technology mankind has to offer, would struggle with something relatively minor like that. Leaving that aside, are you sure the next item is here? Library being the treasure of knowledge does make a lot of sense, but. Uh. What is she doing? So? Do, you, do you need help, like, reaching the top shelf, Kazumi? Maybe she's stretching? That's certainly possible, though I've never seen stretches like that. I suppose it could be, also be some sort of dance? God knows what kids are into nowadays. Might even be some kind of religious ritual. Ah,、uh, the good old fucking archaeologists have no idea what the fuck this thing is. Uh, ritual importance, ritual item, religious significance, boom. Eh, not like it matters. Best course of action is to avoid contact with her as much as possible. Sure, I should be safe from her mind reading. But there's still a slight chance she can circumvent my protection somehow. Maybe your temporary retreat is in order? How odd. Usually there's a stool or stepladder close by, but I can't see any around here. Oh well, I know I shouldn't, but. Sorry, Misai, but I'm gonna step away for a second. Please continue the investigation without me.、Huh? Your smile must be protected. Exactly. He gets it. Hey there. Do you need any help?、Uh. At least she's not hiding from me anymore. That's a start.、Uh, you're trying to get a book, right? Uh. Uh. Yes, because you're not saying anything. I'm sorry? Or you mean the, the silence from his mind? Because you can't fucking read him. Head empty, no thoughts. Okay, okay, is this it? The story that just won't end. Man, so many memories. Must have read it like a hundred times as a kid. I think the sweet girl was a guinea pig for ESP, ESP research. How different her life could have been if she had been, norm,、uh, if she had been born into a more normal circumstance. s Words. And there she goes. Predictable. Not being able to read my thoughts must make her very uncomfortable.、Uh, sorry for the wait, Miss I.、Uh, what are you doing? Building up your courage to be、uh, a little skanky? What are these papers? Yeah, that's fair. So, the one that slumbers is a forgotten book. Good thinking. Very clever of you, Misai. I'm impressed. We may miss something if we check them one by one, so let's just grab them all for now. Eh? t 
次は最上段のあれね<笑> I'll get it えあ,ありがとうでも自分でできる I don't think you can reach and also it's like improper manners to climb bookshelves like they're fucking ladders No way You won't be able to reach it unless you stretch all the way up standing on your tiptoes but I can handle this easily Please allow me Hmm? Uh, did you say something? Hello, other Suzumiya. Duh! Nice. Is that Lieutenant Suzumiya? Just, just the, just the littlest bit of rump curvature. Very nice, tasteful. How odd. I can clearly feel that something special is about to happen. Is this one of those moments where making the right choice will change your life forever? How pitiful she looks, struggling with her hand stretched towards the stand, as her whole body trembles from the exertion. She's practically begging for help. What a perfect opportunity to demonstrate value. Uh, Lieutenant Suzumiya, is this the book you wanted? Eh? Lieutenant Suzumiya, what does that reaction mean? I'm sorry, uh, did I offend you? Uh, no. Or did I get the wrong book? No, I don't see. Because you're just making anime girl noises. How weird. She seems incapable of forming a coherent sentence, but I have to admit, I find her momentary stupidity rather rousing. I wonder why. Now, let's try again. Is this the book you want? Uh, then here you go. What? And she's gone. What was that all about? Yeah, that was weird. What the fuck was that? Maybe. Just maybe. She doesn't like me? Playing Renzo's, uh... Amatory arts against a woman as pure and innocent as Lieutenant Suzumiya was like bringing a nuclear bomb to a knife fight. No wonder I feel like I almost defiled something precious. Uh, Misai, I'm back. Sorry for the wait. Whoa, she's sulking. The overkill! Ah, oh, shit. Is she implying I shouldn't have helped Lieutenant Suzumiya? I understand where she's coming from. From her point of view, I just left her high and dry to go hit on Lieutenant Suzumiya. I couldn't help myself, though. She simply looked too pitiful. I'm sorry. Uh, please forgive me. It's like it's like at prom when I made I made that one girl cry. I, I went stag, so you know I had I had no commitments. But, you know, she's just kind of dancing between, like, girls to girls, and, you know, stands with one that went to the other, and, oh, the one from before, oh, I made her cry because now I'm, now I'm dancing with another girl. Whoops! Whoops! Things happen. You know, it's tough to be a lady killer like me. What's with that innocent reaction? Is she trying to pretend my lapse never happened, or is she trying to make it sound like it wasn't a big deal? Either way, it's time to put my master of the past, uh, past exonerative's. What? Put my mastery of the past exonerative tense on display. That's a sentence. You know, mistakes were made, as all can see, but this is a chance to learn from her actions and change course. You have my word that I will do everything in my power to ensure this never happens again. Uh, this should suffice. Hopefully, we can both move on now. Yoku, 
Right. That's gotta be like hundreds of books. Well, let's have a look. See if anything strange jumps out at us. I'll take this pile here, and you take that one over there. I should have planned this out better. I have no clue what uh, something strange would look like, and how could I? I have no base reference to compare against. Searching through book after book of several hundred pages, only to find something that seems vaguely off. That's stretching human patience to a limit. I'm gonna cease! No! Came back. Ugh. Makes you wish for the sweet embrace of death. I need to come up with some method to optimize the process, or at the very least, take a break every now and then. I'll definitely miss something if I'm bored to death. Uh, Besides, I have a quest. What is it? Na Hello, Brazil. You kidding me? You're fucking walking around like this? Also, are you like, are you wearing like a t like a bronzing lotion? Because the rest of your body is definitely uh, a different different shade than the neck up. Please leave. I feel nothing. Why is she still wearing that carnival outfit? Is the heat messing with her head? Oh, that can't be. The air conditioner should be at least somewhat functional by now. Also, the air conditioner should be on in here, because, like... Books prefer, like, a cold, dry environment. So, yeah, th that outfit, probably, uh, probably feeling uh, a little, little chilly. Ciao, Lieutenant Suzumiya. I see you've taken liking to that daring outfit. She's free to dress however she pleases, but man, she's putting me in a really awkward spot. I guess I'll simply turn a blind eye to her absurdly out-of-place clothes this time. Oh, now that I think about it, she seems quite vulnerable to Renzo's seductive techniques, seduction te tactics. And that outfit barely covers anything, anyway. It's like she's giving me the green light. Stop. My, my phone's alarm went off. Problem is, I don't think Misai would approve. <laughs> she's angry already? But I haven't even done anything yet! God, you're really fucking bad at this, aren't you? Oh, this is bad. I can't have her getting involved any further. Besides, both my partner and the object of my affection. I can't let her impression of me become any worse. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you could run an errand for me. Uh, could you go see the head of security and tell him I'd like to make some changes to my guard duties? Please ask him to set up a meeting to discuss the exact details. Anytime is fine by me. Tell him to pick whatever works best on his end. Yes, even if it's the middle of the night. I don't mind. Yes, dress like that. Yes. Why would you? No, you should certainly wear something less revealing, like that outfit the others are wearing. I know this is none of my business, but I don't think it's sensible to wear something like uh, something that barely covers more skin than a swimsuit when the air conditioner is working just fine. Uh, you're likely to catch a cold. Besides, subtlety is at the heart of seduction. I enjoy the chase. But if you're putting on a free show from the start, there's nothing left to fight for. You're a beautiful woman. There's no need to resort to such desperate tactics. Go change, then run your errand. And she's gone. But what did she thank me for? Oh well. I should focus on searching for the second item. 
From now on, I need to avoid making, uh, avoid other people as much as I can. <laughs> I'm glad that's over with. Let's get back to... Hold on, are you mad? So she says, but her tone betrays how she feels. I strongly doubt my wish will come true, but please don't let anybody else disturb us. Oh, for fuck's sake! Well, it, it is her other half, so, you know, it, it might go better this time. This is driving me nuts! Why do they keep coming one after another? It's impossible to investigate like this. Oh, yeah, it's only natural Misa is asking for, uh, her for help. Of course. I was going through these materials to see if there's anything that could be used for my assignment. I'd appreciate your input, Lieutenant. But I can't just tell Lieutenant Cosmo to go away. Any person with two brain cells to rub together would start getting suspicious. Officially, I'm Dr. Kozuki's bodyguard, and Misai has been assigned to guide me. Claiming that I'm going through these materials because of work-related reasons sounds like a bad excuse, but asking her to leave would make us look extremely suspicious. I need to keep up appearances. A real professional would win her over. My cover story is shaky at best, but given enough time, I can figure something out. On the other hand, there's no way to redo a first impression. I can't afford to get on her bad side by showing her away now. You know, I had the impression you're a very analytical person since we first met, Lieutenant. That you excel at identifying where we stand when uh, providing the necessary support to accomplish our goals. You'll be a great help, I'm sure. No choice but to put off the search for the time being. I'll have to play along with my own lie and make sure to gain her trust. うん。あら、他の作業なんかありませんわ。どうか。頼むよ。なしもつすいスクワーム。what are they talking about? Uh, okay. What was that all about? Well, I guess we can continue with the investigation now that Lieutenant Kazuma has left. That might have been somewhat dangerous to get rid of Lieutenant Cosmo like that, but Misai must have thought the benefits outweighed the risks. I can trust her judgment. She knows what she's doing. Sure. What book are you ta- Holy macaroni! もう少し近づいてみてもらえる。し、しゅ、どう見えるこの90部隊について抜くだりなんだけど。ユニット90?そう。90部隊。ここに奇妙なメモが挟まっていて、あの、私印が書き込まれているわ。なのでだ、ち
fucking laugh is this? Yeah, do do your thing, guys. What's all the fuss about? What are they even doing? Yeah. Damn. Wish Misaya had stayed in place. But no. She had to change uh, position all because of that good dumb commotion. What a shame. I mean, my personal feelings don't matter, but... Did she say the Goto Institution? That's news to me. Absolutely not. Even more so if you consider the note with the symbols written on it. I see now. This is optical encryption. This will take a while to decrypt, but we did it. We had the jackpot, Misai. Alright. Now, just in case, we'll return all copies of the Bible to storage and have Dr. Kozuki prohibit anybody from reading them. Uh, Allegiance uses Bibles to relay encrypted messages to its agents. We figured that out after a wave of terrorist attacks in Europe last year. All these coincidences, all these particular situations, something really seems amiss. Still, it looks like I'm on the right track to the Goto Institution. Okay, let's meet up again later. I'll go check on the doctor and tell her uh, while I'm at it. Almost like she knows everything already because she's the one planning it. I'll keep that in mind. Well then, see you later. Whew. I knew it. The data I read was an optical code. According to my sensor, there's some kind of blueprint inside. My best guess is that it's the laboratory's layout, and from the looks of it, the place is huge. And yet, despite how large it is, there's no hint of it on the map I was given when I arrived. That settles it. This has to be where the Goto Institution is located. In that case, it's reasonable to assume the first key I got uh, unlocks the entrance. How fitting for a key. Only two drums left. Might as well get started and listen to my next poem right away. Ah! Don't tell me! Where the hell is the tape? It wasn't under the pillow. Maybe there's, maybe there's a different hiding spot this time? Bedding isn't hiding anything either. I should try searching under the bed as well as under the mat. Shit, there's nothing. Does that mean I haven't gotten any new orders yet? Wait, what? It's right there on top of my desk? I'll be damned! That moron's gotta be insane! Okay, that was close. I almost said that out loud. Oh, that would have been a bad idea. The room's bugged after all. Whatever. Let's listen to the damn tape already. <laughs> Why? Why are you like whispering? Well, that is a very intriguing question that is posed there, but we'll we'll find out next time on the next episode of Love Love Photon Melodies Resurrection. Because I'm having a rough time of it. There's not nearly enough caffeine in this tea, and I gotta go fold my laundry. So uh yeah. Thank you for watching, everybody, and hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and hope to see you all next time. Uh, when hopefully I'm not, I'm not s such a fucking stuttering mess and can actually read uh, what what appears on the screen. So yeah, uh, see you guys all then. Later. Bye. Mwah.